What is the best barn animal in Stardew Valley? I'm standing here in my massive paddock and I have 5 deluxe barns. What's behind those doors is 12 animals of each kind that we can buy for our barns. On today's agenda, we are going to analyze every single one. Which ones are useful to us in regards to the community center and which ones make us the most money? If you love animals and you enjoy this video, remember to hit that like button. Let's begin today with our classic Moomoos. You can buy cows from Marnie for 1500 gold, which isn't too steep at all. Cows can be milked every single day with a milk pail, given that they are happy. The milk comes in two types, small and large. At base price, they sell for 125 gold and 190 gold respectively. But once you turn them into cheese with a cheese press, they become the same and the cheese sells for a base profit of 230 gold. Both large milk and the cheese are items required for the community center. Milk and cheese are also items used in all of these recipes on the screen, so a very useful animal. 12 cows, 12 cheeses and you're looking at a daily base profit of 2760 gold. Moomoos are a pretty useful animal. Your only nuisance is having to chase them down every single day to milk them. So an auto grabber as soon as possible will be really helpful for all the barn animals in fact, except for one. Let me know in the comments section below if you often leave your barn doors open and to your dismay your animals have run amok and you can't find them to get whatever products you need from them. Good times. Next up we have the goats to look at. We buy them from Marnie for 4000 gold which is definitely more than the cows. The goat can be milked every second day and it produces you a small or large goat's milk. 225 for small, 345 gold for large and then can be made into goat cheese which then sells for 400 gold base profit. You need both the large goat's milk and the goat cheese for the community center and they are regarded the same as cows for the cooking recipes. 12 goats, 12 goat cheese every second day will make you a base profit of 4,800 gold. Compare this to Moomoo's which will make you 5,520 gold for two days. So cows are worth more here. I think an appropriate name for a goat is Reggie. Let me know in the comments below what you name your goats. Our favorite woolly little animals. Sheep can be bought from Marnie for 8,000 gold which is really steep. Now sheep can be shed for their wool every 3 days, but according to the wiki, if you have very happy sheep, they can produce you wool every second day which is much better. Wool sells for a base profit of 340 gold. You can only share it once every 2 days, but if you have the shepherd profession, you can bump it up to every day, but I'm going to look at the numbers for every second day. Wool is also used in the community center as well as cloth. Turning all the wool into cloth is the way to make money here. 12 wool, 12 bolts of cloth every second day if the sheep are very happy and you're looking at a base profit of 5,640 gold every second day. Wow, so a lot of happy sheep will make you more money than cows. But if your wool is iridium quality, it's better to sell it directly. 12 wools at 680 gold each and you're looking at 8,160 gold every second day. Now that is pretty good. If you go the shepherd route and have very happy sheep, they produce you wool every single day. Wool turned into cloth will make you 5,640 gold every single day, which is the second highest on the list of animals. But take into consideration, you need to have the shepherd skill for this to be effective. Who here goes the shepherd route and let me know in the comments below how you like it. Let's have a look at the little Schweinehunts. You buy pigs from Marnie for 16,000 gold, which is the most expensive animal by far. Pigs work a little different than the other animals. They dig up truffles when they are outside and you have to pick them up. The truffles are classified as forageables. A pig can dig up a truffle every single day and if their friendship is high enough, they have a chance to dig up another truffle. Pigs are used in the community center for the truffles and the truffle oil. These items are not used in any cooking, but the oil is used to make rain totems. Let's have a look at the base numbers here people. 12 pigs, 12 truffles at a base profit of 7,500 gold per day. But if you turn those truffles into truffle oil, they will make you a base profit of 12,780 gold per day, which is amazing. Take note, 
Pigs don't dig up truffles when it's raining or during the winter time, so that's a pretty big hamper on their production output. But there are methods to skyrocket the profit of the pig even further. If you take the gatherer perk and the foraging skill, you have a 20% chance to pick up a second truffle. And if you have the botanist profession, all these truffles will be iridium quality, which sells for more than the oil. But again, if you have the artisan profession, you can bump up the oil price even further. Uh, long story short, pigs can be very profitable people. If you take the right perks, a single pig can potentially get you just under 3000 gold per day, which is madness. Hit that like button and leave a comment below if you love swinehoods. Let's have a look at the newest big bird. Oh god, they're ugly. I mean, they're graceful looking. To get the ostrich, you need to have reached Ginger Island and completed the archaeologist side quest and actually find the egg. I created a embarrassing video showcasing how I lost my first ostrich egg and then had to get it again. I'll link it at the top and at the end of this video if you're interested. You can't buy the ostrich egg so you have to find it on Ginger Island from either journal scrap number 10 or in the volcano dungeon. You get a special incubator from the archaeologist when you complete that massive side quest and then you can go ahead and breed these big ugly birds. They take almost 10 days to hatch. Once grown up, the ostrich will lay an egg once every 7 days. Ugh, I'm getting dinosaur vibes here. If you saw my coop animal video, you'll know what I mean. Okay, 12 birds and 1 egg every 7 days. But the eggs can be turned into 10 mayonnaise each. Okay, 12 eggs will make it 120 mayonnaise. That's 22,800 gold every 7 days. Or 3,257 gold every day, which is pretty solid. Let's compare that to the cows, which can make you 19,320 gold per week. That is actually a really nice surprise. I'm glad because that ordeal I went through to get my second ostrich egg was a nightmare. Leave a comment down below if you think the ostrich got more love than a dinosaur. So looking at these numbers, I assume pigs are going to be number one in regards to profit. And they are, by about four times if you make the truffles into oil. I honestly did have pigs as my main source of barn income as well. But can I be honest with you, I hated it. Why? Because truffles have to be picked up where the pigs dig them up outside. They don't get collected by the auto grabber, which means I was always running around looking for truffles, which makes pigs annoying to me and a chore. Now if you're clever, which I am not, you'd fence your pigs into a section where you can control where they dig their truffles. That would make sense. In my playthroughs, I didn't do that as I only considered it right now. Speaking of which, if you liked this video, remember to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. As always, cheers, peace out.